Greetings everyone, greetings subscribers and viewers. This is the Tales of the Beautiful Game English Premier League Prediction Show. And I would like to welcome my fellow analyst here on my right. On my right, yes, is Sam, also known as Rasta. Welcome to the show, Rasta. Welcome, viewers. Okay. On my left is Bio, the general. Welcome to the show. Uh, welcome to the viewers. Okay, okay. I would like to, to like to ask you to subscribe to the channel. Subscribe to, to the channel. On our last week's show, we predicted 10 games and the highest predictor got 8 out of 10, got 8%. So we like to ask you also to follow us on Twitter. On Twitter is at Daily Foot Tales, then on Facebook is Tales of the Beautiful Game. Uh, the EPL starts tomorrow, round 6 starts tomorrow with Everton versus Liverpool. This is I Derby. This feature is produced the most sending offs in <laughs> EPL history, 16 red cards from this fixture. <clears throat> Liverpool last lost an EPL match at Goodson Park in 2010. So it's been 12 years Liverpool has endorsed a match at Goodson Park. They've won three times and drawn eight times in that period. And Everton are still looking for their first win of the season. Bio, what do you think about this game? Uh, it's going to be, it's gonna be uh, an exciting one, I think. Uh, the, the, the catch of it is that both teams look unsettled so far. Okay. Okay. Uh, Liverpool, uh, they are not the same Liverpool that they are used to, uh, but they will be welcoming their new signing, Arthur Melo. Okay. Matip is back from injury. At least they, have, they, they are starting to get, uh, get even uh, though they are poor, they are grinding those results as it means that to one win against Newcastle in the 90th minute. Show sure, also ever. Uh, I'm giving it to Liverpool. Score? Uh, they are conceding, so it's going to be 2 1. 2 1 to Liverpool. Okay, Rasta, what do you think? Yeah, I agree with him. It's um, Liverpool, they might even score more goals. Uh, I'm impressed with this boy, Cavallo. When he comes in, he changes everything. He comes with energy, he's got some good graphics. I think this time around, Liverpool is going to win in, in good time back. Score? Uh, myself, I can say probably 3-1. 3-1 to Liverpool? Yeah, 3-1. I'm oh. hoping 3-0. Oh, because okay. I, been, uh, I tend to disrespect Liverpool. But I'll, I'll win this uh, Everton. I'll say 3-1. Okay. Uh, I personally think it's going to be a 1-1 one draw, -one considering that Liverpool does not really lose at Goodson Park, but they, they draw a lot of games there. And the next game tomorrow, Brantford versus Leeds. The Bees have one one they've won one game so far and that's the only time they did not concede first <laughs> like Leeds Brentford they have scored four in five matches and Brentford is last lost at home was against Leeds Rasta will start with you what do you think uh, this game I might give Leeds okay because uh, when I'm looking at Brentford Brentford they capitalize on they don't create chances if you make mistakes, they, they punish you. Okay. But when I'm looking at this lead side, it's different from the leads of last season because you can see them, they're organized, they are now calm. They know what they're doing, they know the plot. I'll, I'll give it to leads. I feel leads are better. Okay, if they can, uh, I'll, I'll just say maybe 2 1. 2 1 to leads. Okay, Bayo, what do you think? Uh, uh, two exciting teams, three scoring teams to say. Okay. Uh, I, I think it's, it's going to be a 2 2 draw. Okay, leads, draw, and uh, I also think because the, the score is considered at the same time, I will give it to you one one draw. Okay, next game, London Derby. Chelsea, inconsistency has been the norm for both teams here. Chelsea are going to welcome West Ham. With West Ham, we have failed to, to, to score in their last three matches, while Chelsea have seen both teams score in their last four home games. Moyes has faced Chelsea more than 40 times now, <laughs> and he's never won at Stamford Bridge. But we will start with you. And first, I would like to correct you. They scored in the last game against Spurs, the one on draw. Yeah, the one on draw, yes. Yeah, Who? The West Ham. West Ham, they drew. They drew one one at Spurs. So yeah, yeah, I said the last, they failed to score in their last three games against Chelsea. Oh, okay. And they just said, and uh, even in this coming game, I don't see them uh, scoring. 
Okay. Uh, I think Chelsea, as inconsistent as they are, yeah. they're going to win this on 3 0. Oh. Mm. Okay. Okay. Pastor? Yeah, I, I, was, I agree on the winning part. Mm. But I believe Chelsea are going to concede. Because I, I don't know how this man or whoever is signing for Chelsea. Because if it's the same Chelsea, they're going to concede. They're going to win this. Okay. I don't trust that defense. Oh, the career. The career. Yeah, Zakaria. Uh, Zakaria. I don't think he's going to play. He's not going to play. Maybe I'm he's going to feature. Maybe yeah. he's going to feature uh, some part of the game. I'll but, say. But I, I think uh, we are a bit unfair to those just that Chelsea defense of Pepe and Thiago. I think the system is, uh, is, is, is the one that is not well there. I think uh, they are always caught in sixes and sevens. They all of them, the whole level, not not particularly the defense. It's not about the defense problems because I think it's more of positional play. Yeah, I, 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 mean, I don't question them, the defenders. I'm questioning the midfield, they expose them. Yeah, that, that, that's my point. Mm -hmm. Okay, yeah, 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 yeah. You, 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 you may, may say the midfield expose them, but defenders are, are there to defend the defense because why don't they? But, yeah. but you can't you can't defend with Georgina as the holding midfield and expect defenders to, to work over time. Obviously. But, he, but look, Bio, he, uh, I do get what you're saying. But if the defense is not o overloaded, they have to defend. If you have three at the back, you, you are facing three strikers. You have to do your job. But, but, it, but the problem doesn't start at defense. The, best thing, the, front. the, the line of defense starts with the strikers, strikers midfield, yes. then to defenders. So defenders are always exposed because the, the, the front three doesn't do its defense. Press well. It doesn't press well. The midfield doesn't press. If, if you look at Georgina and Kalaka, you, you can see that, 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 that that's a, a true combination that will never work. Oh, okay, okay, okay. I, 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 I think see, since but, you, you predicted a 3 nil some, some sort of, you think they are going to, to, to sort it out. Uh, I will give it to Chelsea 2 1 because they have been scoring and conceding at the same time. Okay, the next game is Newcastle United versus Crystal Palace. Having scored four, four goals against City and Liverpool. Mm, Crystal Palace managed three against the same opponents. Both teams have been scoring and leaking goals at the same time. Why I start with you? Uh, I, I, I think Newcastle is going to win this one. Uh, Crystal Palace, I, 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 I'm not happy with their game management. Okay. Because uh, if you look at them, I've, I watched them against uh, Liverpool. Yeah. Late in one nil, Liverpool got a red card, considered a goal. Okay. They lead 2 nil against the City. They, they lose 4 2. Okay. Uh, I think it's a game management problem. I don't see them. Uh, if they continue playing like this, to be honest with you, yeah. uh, as, as good as they look like, eh, yeah. they'll find themselves in the relegation zone. Uh, I, I think maybe it's because they play with a lot of youngsters. So, inexperience is something bothering them. Yeah, it, it might be an inexperience, but uh, inexperience in those parts. In the coach's part and the players' part, because the coach. Sport. Okay, so then they then I'm right, and they will end up in the relegation. Just for the time's sake, I'll say two one to Newcastle. Okay, Rasta. Yeah, what do you I think? agree with Newcastle. Newcastle is better. Uh, I agree with Bayo. Uh, this one is settled. It's a Newcastle win, but <laughs> it's really settled. Okay, I I will also give it to Newcastle for two one because they score and concede at the same time. And the next one is Nottingham Forest versus Bournemouth. Striking promoted sides clash, having two goals each in five matches and conceding more than ten. <laughs> <sighs> they have both won once and drawn once. Okay, Rasta, I'll start with you. Yeah, I'm giving this Nottingham Forest this game. Okay. Uh, by virtue, I've watched Bournemouth. Bournemouth, when they attack, everyone goes. <laughs> they are left the goalkeeper exposed. That I might give Nottingham Forest. Score? Uh, also, I would just say maybe two one. It won't be, it won't be big because okay. they've been playing together in the championship. These guys they know each other. Okay. I'll give Nottingham Forest because they signed a lot of players. Okay, Bio. That's a tricky one. That's a tricky one. Uh, I won't go much to detail about it, but I think our uh, uh, map don't have a coach. Eh? Yeah, they, 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 they the coach. So, so uh, I, I know interim coaches always win. 
So <laughs> it's a one win, one nil for open, for open mouth. Wow. Mm. Okay, so okay. interim coaches always have the lucky. Okay, <laughs> e, e, is that honeymoon phase? Yes. Okay. Okay. I, 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 I will give it, I will say it to one to, 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 to the worst. Okay. For us, okay. Then the next game is Fulham travel to Space, another London derby. Space won 14 of their last matches where they started as favourites <laughs> at home from last season. His space remain unbeaten while the Fulham ended by Tony's unbeaten run metric. So I don't know whether Fulham is going to end space and un- unbeaten run again. So the, the visitors concedes and scores freely. Bio, I'll start with you. Ash, I, I think I'm biased towards Antonio Conte. I think okay. there's something that I like with that guy. Okay. So I, I, I don't think I'm the right person to, <laughs> to predict whoever space is. Because I, I feel like the, it's, it's a team to beat. Okay. I can see Fulham uh, stopping him with his ugly football. I think it's ugly. Yeah, but, I agree with you. Mm, but but uh, I think he's going to he's gonna grab this one as well, like he always does. Score? Uh, even if it's a 1 nil, it's a 2 nil, whatever score, but I think the result will favor him. Okay. Then, uh, me, I see it's a big score for Spurs. Because okay. Conte, that by him, is he flourishes mm-hmm. when he's attacked. Mm-hmm. He's a reactive coach. I think he's going to react well. They're going to win. Counter attack. Maybe three or even four goals. Okay, I, I, I will say two and two to space based on what or on how Fulham he played against us. <coughs> I think it's, it's not yeah, going Fulham, to be. Fulham is it's, 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 a, it's an in, in, in exciting team it, to watch. It's, it's not going to be easy. Mm-hmm. He, derbies are usually hard. Yeah, and it's a derby. Then, <coughs> Wolverhampton Wanderers will welcome Southampton. Wolves have scored within 15 minutes in their last three EPL wins at home. But they are, they, are, they are winless in their last five EPL matches as well. So their visitors last one get to pick EPL matches two years ago. Mm-hmm. So it's a tricky game. So it, the pick is finding hard to score, having two goals so far and conceding four. The same number is Southampton. Rasta, I'll start with you. Yeah, this one is a tricky game. But uh, my intuition, uh, I, I can give it to you. Saints, Southampton. I think they're gonna pull one from beating Wolves at home. Yeah, they can. <laughs> home, home crowd doesn't play football. <laughs> <laughs> okay, is it Southampton win this side on my left? I will so nearly end. Okay, I'll give it to a nil all draw. Hmm? A nil all draw. Eh? Then the next one is Aston Villa, Manchester City. Aston Villa, Manchester City. I'm sure Liverpool fans uh, will be keen to watch this game. <laughs> Manchester City's 19 goals scored in the first five matches is their most ever in a campaign with Haaland. It's nine big goals in the first five matches, a league record. So Haaland is the main to bet on you. Aston Villa last beat City in 2013, and they've gone seven games without beating them at home. Rasta, I'll start with you. I'm um, giving City. Uh, I was watching As- Aston Villa against Liverpool. Okay. I saw some unforced errors, some stray passes. Yes. Their passes are very poor. If you are playing against Man City, yes. you must be good in passing. Loose balls, uh, De Bruyne, all those guys, even this Haaland. Yeah. I think it's a big, big win for Man City. Okay. I'm giving yeah. maybe 4 0. 4 0, 4 1. City is enjoying. Yeah. It's, it's currently enjoying. They are currently enjoying, and no one can stop that at the moment, save for Liverpool. I don't know when the fixer is. Yeah, but I think it's the only team. Yeah, it's business. Uh, up until they reach those games, uh, for now, I don't <coughs> see anyone stopping them. Actually, yeah. I don't see anyone stopping Haaland for now. This time will come, but for now, we're going to see a league record. Okay, 40 goal, 50. We're gonna see. We can. We're gonna go as far as that. I can tell you because yeah. if if he is not, he doesn't get injured, injured yeah. anytime soon. I don't see any defenders, especially English defenders that I feel now are, are now uh, affected by this system that these coaches use. These defenders are always left exposed. Okay. In their, formation. in their formations, those teams they, they when they attack, they don't know who who, took, who goes and who doesn't go. 
that one goes. Everyone goes and leaving the defenders vulnerable. So with strikers like Abu Hanad, I for keepers, uh, I think say. forty something goals will save them. This so season. what what what's your prediction here? Yeah? Uh, it will be tricky, bro. Yeah, I think Gerard won't allow to be fired. <laughs> yeah, I think a two hundred for for City. Oh, okay. I personally think even if he loses four, five, they are not going to fight because we we we, we all see what City is doing. But his so days I, are numbered. Yeah? I will give him. His days are numbered. Four and two. His days are numbered. Yeah. If yeah. you continue losing these games, yeah. these games are numbered. I'm telling you. Okay. Then on Sunday. The first game on Sunday, Brighton welcomes Leicester City. A tough Brighton side welcomes a trap with Leicester City side who are still winless and they've lost their last four matches. Leicester and Brighton concedes and it will be interesting to see how they will play against each other. So, Bayo, I will start with you. I watched uh, Leicester started playing against Manchester United. There were so many positives from that okay. side. There were so many positives. Though I feel that... Uh, Aren't they no motivated with the fact that they're playing a big team or something like that? Yeah, they, it might be a motivation on its own, but uh, the, the team, they played as a team. One okay. thing that I liked. If you've watched them before, I was the Arsenal game, the, everyone was playing his own football, but yesterday I saw a kid playing to his side. And uh, uh, Brighton, it's one of my favorites. I, I like Graham Porter. He's always there to play. Mm -hmm. And Brendan Rogers doesn't fear playing as well. So, uh, though his years went on any game, I think that's going to be his first win. Brendan Rogers. Leicester win? Yes, Leicester 2 1 win for Leicester. Okay, Pastor? I do agree. Judging from yesterday's game, they deserved something, Leicester. But I think if they can take that form, they're going to mm -hmm. win against Brighton. Because uh, uh, I think it would be a, a, a narrow win. It would be a close game. Okay. I, oh, I personally think Leicester haven't been winning because they haven't been lucky. I think they, they haven't been playing well. well. So I will give it to Brighton 2-1. Then oh, on our last fixture of the game week, Arsenal, the love leaders, and beating 100% record, take their record to Manchester United. And the same Manchester United team that ended their, their unbeaten <laughs> run and doesn't <laughs> <them. laughs> So United, you, you, you have managed to clean sheets in their last two games with, with the Gunners recording 2-1 victories in their last two games as well. Rasta will start with you. <laughs> I am a new fan. <laughs> yes. You know, theater of dream, that's where the dreams and the records for Arsenal end. I think United are going to win this one. Score? Uh, score to be a tight one, maybe 2-1. Oh, oh, okay, do you, do you think the new defense assembly is going to contain the Arsenal attack? Yes. Because, yeah, they can, they will, because it will be like basketball, they'll be attacking each other. Because... Uh, <laughs> Arsenal they have not been tested. That Lamsdale under pressure, I've seen him cracking. Even that goal they considered. Yeah, it, that, 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 that consolation they okay. considered, it was his fault. And then this William Saliba hasn't been tested. Okay, so what's your petition score? I'm, I'm giving it United 2 1. Okay, Bayo, what do you think? Glory, glory, <laughs> United. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, I, I, I think it's going to be glory for United. If you think they're going to win? I, I don't think this, they, are going, they are going to win. I, I'm not thinking. Okay. Uh, because score? Uh, I, 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 it's the score. You want the score? Yeah. I need to bet. Okay, you want to bet? Yeah. Go for a 2 and win for Manchester United. Cristiano Ronaldo scoring the winning goal from the bench. Okay, uh, I don't know what I'm going to pay right now. <laughs> because I see a one-all draw here. I see. Yeah. Uh, 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 I don't think uh, Arsenal will lose their percent record, but uh, I don't see them losing yet. But but you are not fair to Manchester United. Yeah. Uh, I think Martinez, Varane, Malaysia, and Wolves, the right way currently. Dalot. Dalot, they are yeah. playing very very well. Yes, Jesus and Company have been playing with the defenders that are not tested. Varane is a tried and tested defender. Really? 
you don't have to ask a World Cup winner, a Champions League winner. The form counts. For the other part, form, 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 a, a, form, a, a, form, does work, a, a, form doesn't work where there's experience involved. Right there. Uh, it no. Okay. Form is temporary. Form is temporary. Oh, okay. So it's, it's, it's a United win, United win in the draw. Okay, viewers. Thanks so much for for watching. Thanks so much for for watching. And remember to subscribe to the channel and share our videos as well. <coughs> Till we meet again. Thank you. Bye. Bye.